Hey guys, what's going on? So, uh, I posted a protein shake recipe, and this is more like a meal replacement shake, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, and so, again, IsoPure, gotta have IsoPure. Just some cheapy creatine. There's there's all kinds of creatines you can get. I just got this because it's not very expensive. Um, I only use one teaspoon for this uh, meal replacement. Um, go over here and some bananas. I always use one banana. So we'll get one banana. And. Gotta have uh, the kale for this. So, this one I'm gonna have a little bit of fruit and some chopped kale. You can use fresh, but it's easiest to use the frozen for me. Just chop it up. And we'll go with these guys. We'll make a quick. This is more of, like I said, a uh, meal replacement shake. Um, the other one was just strictly protein. This is more like in the middle of the day. It's got some carbs. Uh, it's going to convert to some sugars, but nothing crazy. Uh, the main body is protein. And if you've done any kind of working out and you're, you're doing some muscle repair, um, creatine is always good. So I always like to include the creatine. Um, get the blood flowing. So with that, I do the whole banana, the whole shebang. It's vitamin value. That's good. A little too much. You want it to taste like horse food. <laughs> okay. Basically, strawberries and pineapple and mango. I like them because they're vitamin C rich and antioxidant rich fruits. Stuff those right in there. A tangerine. You can put it in there or not. I like it, it's a little bit tart and high in vitamin C also. I'll just throw that whole thing in there. Right here, my neighbors, they're watching football. Me, don't really care about this game, but. One. And a half. I always have my peanut butter. BB Fit. High in protein. Got a little sugar in it, but like I said, this is meal replacement. You gotta have some sugars in there. And about two and a half tablespoons right around there. Give it some good flavor. And some creatine. One rounded teaspoon. Rounded teaspoon. If you're loading up, you want to do creatine twice a day. Um, it's recommended. Once you have, once you're loaded up, that's for about three days to load up. Once a day. Dandy Nutribullet. Gotta have the Nutribullet. Yeah, did you 
hear the geese? Coconut milk. About 8 to 12 ounces. One nice and nice and thick. Remember this is a, a meal replacement, so one pretty thick. And spice. And of course, one Amazon power blend. Massive antioxidant, good, good gut health because you gotta start from the core. You want true health. You can't just build muscles. You need core health. One power blend and blend it up. And you can see the color difference between the shake that's just protein, it's more of tan, brown color. This one because of the kale and the other stuff that's in it, the fruits that are in it, it's more green. But I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna replace a meal with a shake, this is the way to go because you're gonna get everything you need in your diet. You're gonna get your creatine and you can add some stuff that you want in there. And Super cheap to make. You know, this shake right here probably costs a total of maybe a couple bucks, you know, with all the stuff that I have in it, it's maybe a couple bucks. And then, uh, so this is my, I'm gonna have this pre-workout, so I'm also gonna have Revive Hardcore. This stuff is gonna drive my energy through the roof. Um, I've already got the Octadrine from this morning in my system, so I'm able to take my workout beyond my point of perceived exertion my pain threshold is expanded so i can get the most out of my gym time um, that i can this is going to be give me a high boost of energy and get my met metabolic rate up get my fat burning going and give me a lot of focus for my workout so with that that is a uh, meal replacement shake the way it should be done in my in my opinion um, do what you want but if you're doing shakes for meal replacement do it cheap and do it right. Talk to you soon.